All right. Is my mic on? No, not yet. Working on it. All right. So people come to church, right? So church is a ministry before it is anything else. This is a house of prayer, but prayer is about presence, right? It's about encounter with God. And you need an encounter with God. More than you need, you know, preaching and worship, you need an encounter with the Lord. So it's 2022, right? So we're moving out of the old and we're moving into the new. You can't take with you what you were carrying last year. You just can't do it, right? So there's all these moments in the scripture. God gives us, he speaks prophetic language. And so he gives us all these moments and these stories in the scripture and of transitional moments, not only in people's lives, but in lives of the nation itself. And the Bible tells us that the things that were written in the Old Testament were given to us as examples. They're given to us to learn from. One of these examples of transition is when Israel was leaving, they, they had been wandering in a desert for 40 years for various perspectives and viewpoints that they held that were not congruent with God. They were not able to inherit the things that God had for them. And so an entire generation could not inherit the promises. But now there's a new generation and a new time and a new season, and they're about to cross a river into promises. And so the Lord starts having a conversation with them before they cross over. And he gives them instructions. He tells them to cleanse themselves, right? He tells them to set themselves apart, and he tells them to put on new clothes, right? So, you know, these are, we, we have time. I think we just go through life without ever having any kind of perspective of all, except that these markers of time make us wake up that something new is beginning. So when we have a new year, it means something new is beginning. We all want something new, right? You know, we all make New Year's resolutions. This is the year. This is the year. Then long about February, what happens? Well, I thought it was the year, but it really, but you know, there's some things that are happening. I believe that 2022, God uses numbers. We're prophetic culture here. We believe in it. We activate it. We live it. 2022, 22 is 11 times two. 11 is transition, two is witness or agreement. I've been saying it for the last few weeks. I believe that God is going to make transitions in your life that you will witness. But I believe that there's also transitions that are going to come in your life this year that you must agree with. And if you don't agree with those transitions, wishful thinking isn't going to make it happen. There are things that he's going to do by default because he's God. He's going to make transitions, and you'll watch God do great and mighty things. And he'll make these transitions, and you will witness them. But there are other things that are specific that you've been asking for, and you can't attain because you're not willing to come into an agreement with it or into an agreement with what God is wanting to do. And God is saying, look, this generation just passed because they couldn't get into the agreement that I was trying to bring them into. They couldn't get it. Oh, God would never let that happen. He made promises to a generation, and that generation never inherited it. You say, well, if God said it, he's going to do it. Who told you that? You have to align with what God says. It's a participation faith, Christian. It's not a spectator sport. Right? Inheritances, there's lots of things that are given, but destiny is not given to you without your participation. You have to make changes. The Lord says you got to cleanse yourself of everything you've been walking with and everything you've been carrying. You got to change your clothes. You got to make some serious changes, right? Changes in the culture, changes in the appearance, changes. Who do you need to become to attain what God has set before you? Some of you, you live by identities based upon the opinions of others. And you're so afraid to become who you truly are. You won't change the clothes. So you remain in the past. You can't cross the river because you can't change the clothes. Right? Or you're not willing to set yourself apart. You're too wanting to be accepted. And because of your desire to be accepted, you can never become exceptional. Mm -hmm. You have to be willing to set yourself apart. And if you're not, you're not crossing that river. You'll look at it. But you can't cross it. God wants you to cross the river. You have to be willing to set yourself apart. You have to be willing to change your clothes. There's nothing, on, there's nothing that's not on the table. Change whatever, He can change whatever he wants. Right? And we say that, but are you really willing to let him do that? Are you really willing to let him strip you down of everything you think you are, everything you think you know? Are you willing to do that? It's an easy concept, but it's a very difficult principle to live out right? 
This is real faith. This is how this stuff, this kingdom is real. This kingdom is alive. God means what he says. And, he's going, and he intends on doing what he wants to do. But he needs certain things from us.